Carlos signs that amazing season so far will open many doors for the Spaniard next season as he's going to leave the Marinello team and become a free agent. With so many potential teams, the domino effect started by Lewis Hamilton will have severe impacts on the 2025 driver market in which Carlos Sainz is one of the main actors and the latest team might prove to be one of the few realistic options for the 29-year-old Spanish driver. In order for that to happen though, a few things first need to fall into place, one of which already might be. Carlos Sainz has demonstrated exceptional performance in the early stages of 2024, consistently securing podium finishes in every race he's entered. And despite undergoing appendix surgery and missing a race, he currently holds the fourth position in the standings. These remarkable achievements undoubtedly bolster his prospects as he seeks a seat for the next season amidst vacancies in top teams like Red Bull and Mercedes. Predicting the next move for the 29-year-old in form Formula One is quite hard though because with numerous opportunities available there are a lot of variables to consider. Nevertheless a driver with three race wins and 21 podium finishes unquestionably presents a valuable proposition in the very competitive market. Off the back of his victory last time out in Australia, Sainz gave an update on the discussions about his future ahead of the Japanese Grand Prix where again he got P3 and beat his teammate Charles Leclerc. I'm talking obviously to a few teams because that's what my management team and myself should do when I don't have a job for next year yet, the 29 year old explained. We're talking to pretty much all of them. It's just a matter of obviously going more into detail and seeing the more realistic options and what are the best options for me and for my future. I don't have any news for you, nothing to say here today. The only thing I would say is that obviously it's time now to speed up a bit everything and hopefully we can get it sorted sooner rather than later. But should Signs do that because at his age it's imperative that he selects his team carefully as he doesn't have many prime years left in him. A direct swap with Mercedes is not out of the question however. Mercedes has a lot of drivers on their mind right now, a favourite of which is definitely Andrea Kimi Antonelli, their F2 young gun. But would they prioritise him over someone much more experienced. Then we have the prospect of even Max Verstappen joining if he were to leave Red Bull. But two major problems arise here. One, would he even leave Red Bull? And two, even if he does, why in the world would he join a team like Mercedes being in the state that they're in? Red Bull, however, are another thing. If Perez, for example, were to leave, Sainz, with his race-winning form and impressive technical capabilities, is a no-brainer choice if Red Bull thinks it needs to do something different. But the Sainz situation is complicated by the fact that Red Bull is not the only team that the Spaniard has options with. As we mentioned, Mercedes and even Audi are interested in them, and they're not the only ones. But at this point, it's highly unlikely that Red Bull will make any driver changes at all. Sergio Perez appears to have overcome his initial struggles with the car and is now consistently performing at a high level, fulfilling the role of a dependable second driver that Red Bull has long wanted out of him. It's plausible that Red Bull could opt to retain him at a relatively low cost, thereby avoiding any risk to their championship standings. Choosing to pursue Sainz or Alonso would likely entail paying a premium for their services. Ultimately, it boils down to a decision of risk versus reward for Red Bull, and from their perspective, the financial and potential disruption costs may outweigh the anticipated rewards. Given that they're likely to secure both championships regardless of the driver choice, the necessity for change may not be compelling enough. But what about Aston Martin? Out of all the teams Sainz was connected with, Aston Martin were among the least mentioned and least talked about. And to be honest, with a very good reason. The state of the team is not that great as they are the worst of the top five teams. So why would a driver like Sainz, who's capable of fighting for the title, join a team like Aston Martin? Well, recent rumours suggest something else, as some Aston Martin staff reportedly want Fernando Alonso replaced in favour of Carlos Sainz. 
This is a bit of a bombshell because Alonso is a seasoned driver, very experienced and basically carries the team on its back with very little, if any, help from Lance Stroll. Alonso enjoyed tremendous success with the Silverstone-based squad in their first season together last year. He scored eight podiums over the course of the campaign and finished fourth in the Drivers' Championship last year. And this year, even though it didn't start well for them, there is positivity around the team. In terms of potential moves, Sainz hasn't been strongly associated with a transfer to Aston Martin. The team has predominantly emphasised the significance of Fernando Alonso and according to team principal Mike Crack, retaining the double world champion takes precedence. This places considerable decision-making power in Alonso's hands. Despite being 42 years old, Alonso continues to showcase impressive performance, significantly outperforming Stroll in the first four rounds of the 2024 season, something to be expected if we're being real. For him, the pivotal question revolves around whether the British outfit can provide a competitive package and recent upgrades to the AMR24 represent the first phase of this season development strategy. These upgrades have been cited as crucial progress towards maintaining Alonso's commitment to the team. In theory, securing a position at Aston Martin appears challenging given Lance Stroll's seemingly assured presence within the team for the foreseeable future. Nevertheless, a report from some media outlets suggests that there are factions within the team considering Carlos Sainz as a viable option. Intriguingly, the report also suggests that some individuals within Aston Martin would prefer Sainz to lead alongside Lance Stroll rather than Fernando Alonso. It claims sources have revealed that factions within Aston Martin want him to join the Silverstone outfit for 2025 alongside Lance Stroll and lead it into the new F1 rules era from 2026 rather than continue with Fernando Alonso. This report presents a contradiction to the prevailing narrative surrounding the team. Given their past success with Alonso replacing him, unless voluntarily done so by him, seems quite unlikely. However, it's essential to monitor how this situation develops. Red Bull still has an available seat that could trigger a cascade effect in the driver market. If the world champion were to join the Austrian team, it would create an opportunity for signs. Yet, it raises the question of how long Aston Martin is willing to compromise its performance to retain Stroll in the team. On the other hand, Toto Wolff has already expressed concerns about directly placing Antonelli at Mercedes, suggesting it could overwhelm the young driver. Additionally, dismissing rumours of Verstappen leaving as unfounded, it's plausible that Alonso is a leading candidate for Mercedes, particularly given Wolff's recent remark about desiring a strong personality within the team. Red Bull, much like Mercedes, is seeking a supportive second driver, likely either Albon or Perez, considering their past rejection of Alonso. I think it's almost frightening for the sport not to see Alonso in a top-tier team. While there's incessant discussion about enhancing F1's value and even calls for firing rebel figures, Alonso remains overlooked. The potential sight of Alonso at Mercedes during past seasons or now at Red Bull is very exciting and it also promises a boost in viewership and excitement for the sport. As for signs though, for now, all he can do is continue to impress on the track, armed with the second quickest car on the grid with Ferrari's 2024 Challenger, signs proved in Australia that race win opportunities could well crop up throughout the season and wherever he ends up he will be a very significant figure come 2026 and the new engine regulations and even next year because he's proven time and time again that the prowess is there, all that is needed is a decent car. Ferrari definitely have that and were it not for the absolute dominance Red Bull has had over the rest of the grid in this era of ground effect rules, you can bet that Sainz could and probably would beat Charles Leclerc for the title. What do you think? Could Sainz really join Alonso if he gets kicked out of the team due to being too volatile? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and we'll see you soon in the next video.